Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go through the liquid lipsticks that are in my collection and I'll let you know if I love them, will I repurchase more in the future. Just information to help you make an informed decision. That's how you say it. This is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And these are actually the ones that first made me fall in love with matte lip creams or liquid lipsticks. So there it is on my hand, here it is on my lips. And these are super creamy. They're not super drying at all. Throughout the day, if you let it dry, it will dry without transferring. They're not the longest wearing ones by any means, but they're very inexpensive, very gentle on the lips, and they have a great color payoff. They run about Okay, so the next brand I'm going to talk about is the Sephora Cream Lip Stains. And this was a natural progression for me to go from these NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams to these. I want to say they're $13. I'm not sure, but that's not too much more than a drugstore price. But these might be my very favorite. I really love these Soft Matte Lip Creams. But these might be my number one favorite. I do wish that they had a better color selection. But these are amazing. I think that if you want to try out cream lip stains that actually last all day that are tra transfer proof, they're not going to get on anything, then you should check these out. They are drying throughout the day, but nothing that hurts my lips or makes them flaky. I just have to be careful to exfoliate and use a lip balm, but I love these. Okay, the next brand that I like a lot and that kind of fits in this transgression from the first one on is the Stila. Let's see, let me get one without gum from my purse on it. The Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. I love these. These are more expensive. They run, I want to say $24, but they're amazing. I mean, it comes in a very big container. You get a lot of product. These really are transfer proof. They last a long time. They are more drying than the original NYX Soft Matte Cream I talked about. But these are amazing. Pretty good color selection. And a couple times a year they release extra colors, which is really fun. So I'm going to start swatching them for you. My hands are getting so stained and look at uh, so red around my lips. Just, I can't help it, I have sensitive skin. Well, the next brand I want to talk about and style is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. It's looking like this isn't matte, but I feel like it does dry matte for me. The brand I want to talk about is a Ciate, Ciate, I'm not sure, Ciate London Liquid Velvet, and I picked these up at Sephora, and I love these. Originally, they only had a few shades, but just in the recent month or, last month or so, they've released a whole bunch of additional shades along with their original collection, and I love these. I want to say they run $22. Super smooth, not drying at all, very long wearing, they will dry down, and they're amazing. Love them. The next liquid lipstick I'm going to talk about is from ColourPop. This is the Ultra Matte Lip. 
and I was nervous to try these out just because I had some of their other liquid, or not liquid lipsticks, their regular lipsticks, their lippy sticks, the twist ones. Loved them so much, loved the finishes, loved all the colors, but my lips were so sensitive to it that they reacted and they almost look like worse than they're puffy right now. And it hurt really bad. I don't know what was in it that affected my lips so badly. But I tried these out and for whatever reason, it must be missing that ingredient. This is in the shade Lumiere 2. This is the one from Kathleen Lights. I love this color. It's already dry. No transfer. Um, I just really like these lips. At all. They're $6 a piece. And then I'll show you another one. I bought it in a pack, which is a really inexpensive way to try it. So, like, I bought this pack. I want to say... And there's five. I want to say that this pack was $20, I think. And the reason I did that is just to try out different colors before I committed because sometimes it's hard not to see colors in person and color pops online. If you do want to try out the color pop, color pop ultra matte lips, I would definitely check out Instagram and do a hashtag to see because people have them swatched everywhere and I don't have a very big collection. If you aren't interested in the ones that dry really matte like this or you have like dry lips, they do have a new one called the Color Pop. I can't say that. Color Pop, Color Pop Ultra Satin Finish or something like that. And they don't dry completely down, but they are really pigmented and really pretty and things like that. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully you could kind of get past all the color that came outside of my lips that stained and that my lips got kind of puffy and all the makeup around my mouth is gone. Sorry about that. That's just what happens when you swatch a million lipsticks everywhere. I hope this was informative for you. I love lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, matte lipsticks, and I always love watching them being swatched regardless of the skin tone. I just love seeing the color pay off in different brands. It helps me decide how to spend my money. But thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.